Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering. Today we are going to see how to set up an environment to run Abacus subroutine. Actually, few years back I made a similar video where I used Intel Parallel Studio XC along with Visual Studio 2015 and Abacus 2017, and I showed how to install everything and how to link everything together so you can run a job with subroutine. This video is watched by almost 13,000 people, and most of the people said they don't have access to Intel Parallel Studio XC. because this is not a free software you have to pay for it therefore today i am going to show you how to do this same process but instead of intel parallel studio xc we will use intel one api base toolkit now these intel softwares are totally free visual studio is also free so if you don't have access to this intel parallel studio xc please follow the process in this video also the versions were really old in earlier video so now i have updated it hence it should be good for couple of years at least i guess To understand the process you don't have to see that earlier video we will do everything from the scratch in total you have to follow four steps in step 1 we will install abacus visual studio also intel one api base toolkit and intel one api hpc toolkit so these four softwares you have to install i am sure abacus is already installed so i will not go into this part we will start with these three softwares then in step 2 we have to define some windows environmental variables in step 3 we have to configure abacus ca and abacus dot environmental file in step 4 we will check if everything is working correctly and then you can run any example with subroutine let's start with step 1 as i said first you have to install abacus so i am hoping you already did that part i installed abacus 2021 but this process should work with any other version of abacus as well then step 2 is install visual studio 2019 to download visual studio 2019 i have provided link over here all these links i will provide in the description box of this video as well so you can just go to that description box and click on this link make sure you install visual studio 2019 first before installing api toolkit let's go to this link it will take you over here and it will automatically start the download as well once download is finished you can just run this file say continue it will download few more files a few moments later and over here you have to select this desktop development with c++ say install it will take some time and you know what that means it's some meme time 3 days later and then restart it tomorrow next is to install intel one api base toolkit again for this this is the link to download and remember to choose windows and offline installer and let me click on this it will take you to this link but it will not start download automatically here you have to select windows and once you select windows here select offline then this window will pop up and from here you can download you can say continue as guest and download will start looks like this is also going to take some time and that means 3 hours later done open this file it will ask you to extract the files first say continue accept the terms and go in custom installation otherwise it will install many many things which will take a lot of space we don't want that so go in customize and you can see everything will be selected first but we don't need everything so i will just untick whatever we don't need we need these five things you can pause the video and check these five things we need to install you can see the size reduced from 30 gb to 4 gb say continue you can see here it will automatically find the microsoft visual studio which we just installed and that's why we have to install that one first next you can choose any of this i usually do not consent and install it will take again some time so let's see one more meme one eternity later finally done and now we have to install one last thing intel one api hpc toolkit again the same process go to this link and choose windows offline installer let me just go here windows offline and then download continue as guest again it will take some time i think this video i am going to use all my memes 6 hours later done open this file extract this toolkit is little bit smaller than earlier one so it should be bit faster accept and again go in customize we will need almost all but only you can untick intel inspector next again it will identify microsoft visual studio next do not consent install and hopefully 
the last theme of this video. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And installed successfully. Let's go back to our slides. Finally, step one is done. Let's move on to step two. In step two, you have to look for these two files. This is one and this is one. And usually they will be at this location. Program files in this Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 community VC auxiliary and build. And here we have this vcvars all file. Similarly, find one more file, which is vars.bat file. I will keep this open and open another window program files in this Intel one API compiler. Now the next thing, this number will change depending on whatever version you have. Actually, it's already 2022 is released. So minus 2022, but doesn't matter in that environment. And here you will have this VARS dot bat file. Now we open these two files, this one and this one. What we have to do is we have to add these two paths to Windows environment variable. For that, search control panel over here and go to control panel. And in this, you should able to find system. Go over here, go to advanced system settings, go to environment variables, go in path. Now you can either add it over here. This is only for your user or you can add in the bottom section over here. If you add over here in this path, it will be for all the users. As of now, I will add only for me. Click on edit and over here we have to add those two paths. Let's go to first file, copy this path, say new and paste it. Similarly, copy the second path. Again, say new and paste it. Say OK. Again, OK. OK and close this. Next, it's step three. In step three, we have to do two separate tasks. First, we have to configure Abacus CA. For that, Find out this abq2021.bat file. Depending on which version of Abacus you are using, this number might change. But this file will be at C simulia slash commands. Let me show you where it is. Go in C in simulia and in commands. This is the abq2021 file. Then open this file in any text editor. You can open in notepad or anything. Let me open with notepad plus plus. This is how the file will look. And now over here, we have to add this line as it is. This number depends on where your vars.bat file is. So wherever you found this vars.bat file earlier in this step, make sure to use this same address. Then add this entire line, add it over here. So these two lines, keep them as it is and add it over here and save this file. And next we have to open this abacus underscore v6 dot environment file. This will be stored at this location. Program files, docile systems, simulation services, v6, then go down, win64, SMA and site. Over here, you will find this abacus underscore v6. Again, open this with any editor. I opened it with notepad now. It will look something like this. And at the end, you just have to add this line. I have given this line over here as well. Just add at the end and save this file and close this. That's all. Step three is done. And final step, test everything. To test, we just have to go to Abacus command prompt and type Abacus info system. This should able to find the Fortran compiler. And next, we will type Abacus verify user standard. This will test if subroutine is working or not with Abacus standard solver. And similarly, next one will check if subroutines are running or not with Abacus explicit solver. Now let's do that. Go in Abacus command. And here you can type first abacus info equal to system. And here in Fortran compiler, it should able to find Intel Fortran compiler. This is the compiler we just installed. Next, we will test the subroutine for that abacus verify user standard. And it says pass. Again, let's check for explicit as well. Instead of std exp pass for single precision. It will check double precision as well. And it passed. I know this process is very frustrating. So finally, when it says passed, feels really, really good. Anyway, if it is passed, then enjoy. And if it did not pass, 
let me know in the comment section what error you are getting and we will try to work it out if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching Thank you.